Hello world, uh, hopefully this is going to be the easiest tutorial you ever see on YouTube. Uh, I'm Mr. Van Leader and this is how to make a gaming uh, style layout uh, that you see here featured in the periphery. A um, couple of things to note uh, before uh, you comment on this telling me what a noob I am. This is a very simple tutorial, I am not a pro, uh, I'm just trying to tell other very simple people uh, how to achieve the same sort of effects as this. Uh, second thing to note is I don't have uh, Adobe Photoshop which would very much help for creating something like this uh, and I don't have Sony Vegas uh, Pro also which would help because it would allow me to create infinite video tracks and each of the, the different parts of this layout you see here could be a separate element in that. Um, if I've already lost you, don't worry, uh, this is going to be a, a newbie tutorial, so uh, sit back, relax, and I'm going to show you how I made this. Okay, as the screen changes here, you can see uh, Sony Vegas Platinum Mo Movie Studio uh, here in all its glory, and this is what we're trying to create here in the video preview window. Uh, you'll see that this video section here, if I move this, is going to be uh, on this video uh, tab and the actual layout around it uh, is going to be on the tab directly below this is because uh, in my layout the, the video just sits on top of the um, surround that uh, we're going to create separately in uh, PowerPoint if I just open PowerPoint you'll see that I've created this here uh, arranged everything as I wanted it. Uh, each of these is a movable, uh, clickable uh, element. I can tell you where I downloaded all of these uh, little files of the the kill streaks and the perks and stuff. But that's all uh, part of a separate layout. So what I've I've done is I've created that, and then I've uh, gone up here to the corner and selected all to grab all the elements. Uh, right click, copy, uh, open Microsoft Paint. My uh, highly uh, flexible and cutting edge. Uh, photo editing software and you see we've pasted it in there to uh, to paint um, then all I need to do is I need to save that um, and uh, I'll save it as a, a bitmap file so it doesn't lose any quality um, a JPEG would lose quality so I'll save that the next thing uh, I can show you how to do is how that all fits uh, together so you, you, you import it uh, using the import media in Vegas, uh, you can see here lots of different photos there because the the score changes in each uh, each little clip, and I've had to create a new photo for each time the the kill counter changes. Just drag this back out here. Um, I'll create a new uh, document so I can show it how it how how it all pieces together. Um, so we'll call that layout. Right video preview up in the corner. I've, I usually keep it up here in the corner but to do this uh, I, I need to have it big enough so you can see what's actually going on. So import media, there's a bitmap there, we'll drag it onto the bottom video track and you can see that it comes on and it's, it's not it's not set up right, the, the cropping's not right, there's a big white bar along the bottom, it, it all looks ugly, it's not sitting where it needs to be. So you need to click the middle button here, the event pan crop and it brings this up. Um, I've got the layout saved there so I can just click and you'll see the video preview it's just adjusted perfectly because I've done this before um, now what you need to do in order to get that is you need to play about a bit and um, you can use these buttons here on the, this button here on the left is very good because uh, if you click once then you can only move it left and right if you click again you can only move it up and down you can also resize it there you see the video preview window change uh, sort of off there I'll just get it so you can see it a bit better uh, yeah, pan it in and out. You know, just crop it, make make all the lines so it it fills your your video preview um, nicely. Depending on how you're going to render it, whether it's going to be a widescreen or a a, a square image. Uh, there you go, left and right, up and down independently, so you can really precision place it. You don't want to just be moving it around in in all directions. There you go. So I've I've clicked back to my layout so you wanna once you're happy with it you want to wanna save that you wanna type in a name for it and click the the little save uh, icon in the corner there and then every time that you import a new image to your your document you can just click directly to the the preset you have and they'll all fit perfectly 
Um, so I just drag a, a video on just randomly to, to demonstrate how it's going to sit on top and you watch the video preview and it changes because that's now on top so I can't see the, the layout which I've um, arranged nicely so what I need to do is I need to, to shrink that image down a little bit so uh, it doesn't sit on top of my uh, video but it sits nicely in the, the little window that I've created um, so first I'll, I'll resize it you'll see um, you can't really see the video preview there but it's, it's at the top but you can see that the layout's becoming visible behind there as I, I click to, to resize it um, takes a, a pretty long while to, to get something you're completely happy with but you just keep dragging it around until it fills that that window perfectly um, and yeah it will take you a while um, once you've got it near enough um, what I do is again go across here to the left of this uh, pan crop window and uh, I'd start moving uh, up and down left and right independently so instead of doing it free like you see there not particularly accurate you can just move it left and right so you can make sure that it's definitely in the middle of those uh, in the middle of that that rectangle and up and down so it's it's in the middle obviously this isn't sized right you'd uh, take more time to do it and you wouldn't end up with a nasty black frame around it but that's the general idea when you've done type in a name for it save the preset and uh, you'll be able to go back there's my preset you see it fits nice and snugly uh, in the window and once you've done it once you don't have to worry about it again uh, I've been Mr. Van Leader. This has uh, been a lot of fun. If this has helped you, uh, please leave a comment telling me how much it's helped you. Um, if it hasn't helped you, uh, please feel free to leave me a couple of questions. I will answer them, um, but they need to be specific questions, not how did you do it. It needs to be, I am struggling with this, how do you do this? Um, and I'll attempt to help you. But as you've seen, I'm no pro, I'm just trying to help. I've been Mr. Van Leader and uh, you've been watching a YouTube video. Now, go back to work.